marketing tips and tricks to grow your business. I'm Annabel Roman from Karana AV, and this is Be Present. Welcome to Be Present. This is session number one, and I'm super excited to be involved with one of our partners here. His name is Juan Morales. He's from Houston Vida, and we are going to be sharing you some fresh ideas, some fresh resources on what you can do and what other businesses are doing in the industry uh, to stay alive, to survive during this, and to improve services, to increase uh, offers. So I hope you like it. So welcome, Juan. Hola, Anabel. Thank you for having me on. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm super excited, super happy to have you here. Um, I know that you have some fresh ideas. Uh, you have a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. And I think that what people get the most from uh, podcasts or videos like, like this one um, are when we have more than two sharing ideas and brainstorming and having uh, some of uh, those thoughts that help us improve offers, that help other businesses, to, to, that help the audience in, in general. So thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I've, you know, been like a lot of us having to rethink how I position my business, how I offer my services. And along the way, um, we've seen a lot of things that are working, and uh, I'm excited today to be able to share some of those things that we're seeing out there uh, that maybe aren't local, but that uh, you as a local business can implement and add a new source of revenue, uh, make mm -hmm. yourself more visible, and connect with more customers during this time. Thank you so much. I'm going to share here what you're doing. Can you talk me about uh, Houston Vida a little bit? Yeah, so Houston Vida was created um, as a tool for small businesses here in Houston. Uh, first off, to, to make yourself more visible online um, so that if somebody is looking for your services, they know where to find you. And not only that, they know that you're open and what services you're offering. Um, so we created it to connect a local business with uh, that customer that might need their service that, you know, a lot of us, um, this happened to me, I, I like there is a local um, dry cleaner. Um, I didn't know they were open, right? I didn't have a way of knowing that. And uh, it would have helped if uh, there was a way to find them online. And sometimes, you know, the, the business may not have a website um, or uh, they just don't have an email, um, email campaign going out, letting people know they're still open. So, so we're able to help a small business have an online presence if they don't have one, but then also communicate that with our email list, which is full of business owners mm -hmm. and also people that live here in Houston. That's, that's amazing. I just share with the audience uh, how your platform looks. So everyone that wants to have a little bit more of visibility, you can just sign up. It's free. And also Juan is giving, uh, he's a marketing consultant. So anything that you may have as a question or you're stuck in something, feel free to contact him. Uh, again, his uh, business is Houston be that well more than um we we all we need to introduce ourselves and what we do but more than that I want to brainstorm with you about some other things that we have seen in the in the digital platform and social media and Facebook and LinkedIn about other businesses and what they are doing to stay to stay alive and you were the one who found two three amazing things about what people are doing locally and um i want you to share with me what you found yeah so a couple of different things um one of the themes you'll see is that usually uh I'm a local business. I rely on people coming in, right? I rely on foot traffic uh, to sell my services. Mm -hmm. 
And one kind of theme we're seeing is that um, companies are starting to add a e-commerce platform, right? Mm -hmm. The ability to sell their service online and package it in a way that you can send to that customer or they could do a curbside pickup. Um, and along with that, um, if let's say you're more of an educational type coaching uh, business, uh, creating the online courses and uh, seminars to, to keep offering your services. Um, and one of my favorite examples that's here in Houston is a local painter named uh, Lauren Luna. Uh, she's, she has a Shopify store, mm -hmm. um, which is very easy to set up. Uh, we did a live stream the other day in the group on how to set up your own Shopify store, if you're interested in learning more about that. And she's a local painter, right? And what she does is if you go to her website, you can buy the kit and it has all the material you need. It has the, you know, the, the canvas, it has the paint, it has the brushes, it has everything you need. You order your kit, they deliver it to your house. And then on Friday, she goes live and y'all paint together that same portrait that you just purchased. And that's something really cool that you can do uh, with your family. And it's just an incredible way that she has created for herself to, to A, keep her business alive, mm -hmm. uh, B, provide a time for us or everybody as a family to come together and do something that's fun uh, and distract us from everything going out there right now. So this was a re one really cool example of how you can um, add a new line of revenue to your current uh, business. Mm -hmm. Something that, that I think that is very accurate on timing is that everybody during this quarantine is trying to uh, learn something new. They are trying to stay healthy. So the people are out there doing exercise. Uh, they are buying kits to do exercise, but they are also learning new things. And uh, I think that painting with your family and she's sending all the the items to get that done so she's sending prior the classes she's sending that kit and you will have all the items on your on your home on your office with your kids with your husband with your wife uh, to have a great time but also learn something new new techniques new new skills i think the lauren has a, an amazing amazing offer there i also saw something cool about her while i was doing the search if you see here lauren also has uh, the option to have one of her uh, art put it on a mask. Yeah. That's what's awesome. You know, one, I'm not sure if she's doing it this way, but there's something called print on demand um, where you upload your, your art, your design onto mm -hmm. a shirt or a face mask. And the company, the somebody comes online, they order it and the company fulfills the order and ships it to the customer. Um, so you don't have to actually purchase a hundred masks and hope they sell. Uh -huh. right? um, so that's another great example of using the tools that are out there without, you know, we automatically think I have to put a lot of money or invest money and money's tight right now. Uh, but there's a lot of really cool ways of selling items like this that are custom uh, to what you're offering and you know provide another source of revenue for you something that i found amazing amazing that is from puerto rico and as uh for the people who just join us i am puerto rican that's the caribbean sexy bricks breeze accent that you can feel but <laughs> I also have a lot of uh, a big community from Puerto Rico, and I'm amazed with the great things that they are doing. So look at this cool package and kit. Isn't that tasty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> that's a mojito. That's a mojito uh, kit from a beautiful restaurant in the south of the island, and it's called Mojito Beach. And they have the complete kit 
for you to do your own mojito. But they include, as you can see, the mint leaf, the yeah. lemon slices. You even has a straw there. Yeah, and yeah. it's a umbrella straw. That's it's so cool. The sugar, the sherry, and you can choose what flavor you want the mojito. They do curse They do uh, pickups. They do deliveries. So uh, I think that that's a great uh, idea and it's an amazing way to reinvent yourself and don't let your business go down just because you cannot have people into your location. You can, you can, we need to think out of the box. I know that we are not on the same boat, even if we are in the same storm uh, and our scenarios are all different but i think that this is an amazing way to just go around the problem and be creative and that's a way to drag attention from the media because everybody is talking about them because yeah. of how they are getting creative and how they are getting more businesses and more people talking about them they are getting in all the social media in puerto rico and they are trending right now So I think that that's a great way to go around the problem and reinvent yourself, redesign your offer, improve your your offers, and stay alive. Yeah. That's what we are all trying to do. Here you have an another another amazing example. What can you tell me about it? Yeah. So you know, right now we showed kind of how these were kind of products, right? If I have a product, how I can get them to somebody. Mm -hmm. um, and this is if you're more of a coach or a consultant, or there's a skill that you teach um, on how you can also create a new source of revenue. And one thing to keep in mind is that once we come out of COVID, once all of this ends, you just added a new stream of revenue to your business that Uh, you might have a local presence, but you just opened yourself up to a worldwide audience uh, with something like this, right? This is a platform uh, where your child can continue to develop their skills. You know, I know a lot of parents put a lot of time into taking their kids to baseball practice, soccer practice, mm -hmm. and 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 now it's like, wow, like, you know, we need the coach. We need somebody to still keep teaching them. We want to get them off the couch, you know playing or learning and staying active. And uh, this is a great way that, A, it's it's very cost effective uh, as a parent to be able to pay for something like this. They're offering free 30-day trials uh, and they have on-demand videos that if I want to develop a very specific skill like how to throw a curveball, you can go mm -hmm. straight to that video and and start practicing and learning that, the skill, all the details, right? Uh, and this is something that, like say me as a marketing consultant, uh, we're developing is step-by-step -step videos to where I can go exactly uh, where I, what I need to learn for that, you know, where am I stuck mm -hmm. and go specifically to that, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, education. Uh, and there's, um, this is what they're doing, which I thought was really cool, right? I think that is really co cool too. And the baseball season, for example, start in February. For in my, in my case, I do have a child that play baseball, and we pay the for everything. We pay for the season. We got the uniforms. We were supposed to start playing at the end of March, and that's where everything started. And my son loved baseball and he felt a little bit upset because he couldn't be on the park. He couldn't be practicing as he normally do. And I think that that's a great way uh, to involve your son on sports, your husband, your, your daughter, uh, to involve your family in sports, to still be um, learning new skills. And obviously for those who love, 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 love baseball, that will be a seamless way to do the transition between being physically in the park, but still be practicing from your home. So I think that that's, that's a nice way to, to keep practicing and staying um, active in baseball. Yeah. I love it. That and, you know, like one of the kind of, 
common things we're seeing is it it's an opportunity uh, for families to spend time together and learn something together. And I think, you know, 10 years from now, we're going to look back and you're going to look at the great memories that you created with your kids, right? That y'all sat down and learned something together and then went and actually practiced it, right? Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Something that um, in our case, we are doing, it's uh, the rental, let me see if we can put it here, it's a webcasting kit rental. You as you know, we are doing webcasting and live streaming uh, presentations, but as we are doing it, there's a lot of businesses that are trying to maximize their opportunities by connecting with their prospect, with their clients, with their team uh, through live streaming, through webcasting, through webinars, because there's a stay home order in a lot of states still. So, and we need to keep moving forward. We need to keep connecting with the people. Social, social distancing is not distancing from social. So we need to uh, figure out how we're going to do. What do you think about it, Juan? I, that's incredible. You know, um, it. What what's cool about it is that, you know, when I started thinking, okay, I need to start creating this content, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, I need to go buy a camera. I need to go buy microphones. I need to spend a thousand dollars on, you know, on equipment so I can look professional, um, which is really important, right? If you want to position yourself uh, as a professional that's offering services and, and here, what you've done is you've, you've made it accessible for, for more people by allowing them to rent it and use it and then send it back, right? And and I think the the unhidden benefit is that if I rent something, let's say for 30 days or a week or two, I now have a timeline where I need to go use this and and actually do it. You know, a lot of times where we keep putting things off, right? We keep saying, oh, I'm gonna start my podcast. I'm gonna start my, vi you know, my videos, but we keep putting it off because we're thinking, oh, well, I'm going to wait till I have this camera. I'm going to wait till I have this microphone. But with this, what y'all did is y'all provide, you're providing, you're providing the solution to a problem, right? And you're giving. We're pushing person, you to actually do it. Yeah. And some pressure to do it, right? Because uh, maybe they just, they want to rent for only a month. Uh, so that gives them 30 days to, to actually do it, right? I agree. And something that we try with the webcasting kit rental is uh, to choose equipment that is easy to set it up. Because something that we have found with the people that are calling us to ask questions about live streaming or some consultancy, they do, some of them have equipment, but they don't really know what softwares to use, how to set it up, how to uh, work with the delay. So you're video and your audio are all connected and aligned um it, it properly equalized and um what we try here is to simplify the way that they can do the technical and just concentrate on the on the content just concentrate on the message that's what we try to do here and obviously on the price because right now we are all trying to stretch the dollar and maximize that and try to look for opportunities to connect, but at the same time, um, work with a small budget until we finally feel comfortable investing more and more and more in, in marketing. And there's no need to invest tons of money on marketing. You just need to get things done day by day by day, connect and do it. And I think that that's, I, I love your proposition. I I love what a lot of people are doing outside. And the people who are just diving in the, the whole thing of the COVID-19 are the people that they are not thinking twice about doing it. They, they are just doing it. And I think that that's what everybody should be doing right now. If you have an idea, don't wait to receive a lot of confirmation um, to do it. Just do it. Just 
start recording, start creating content, start get involved your 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 marketing team. If you also have a restaurant and you cannot open because you're in a state where not even 25% of the of your people can go in, start doing videos about recipes. Start start doing something just to connect, to be present. And that's why I we we wanted to create this podcast and video sessions uh and the title is be present just, just to, to help, help other people with that yeah that and you know uh, uh short uh, actionable steps right with great ideas that that people are doing and how you can do it for your own business and just one thing i did want to mention is mm -hmm. um this is an incredible opportunity for small local businesses uh we typically think we might be at a disadvantage compared to a big franchise. Um, but uh, this is also a way of us getting our message out um, to where I'm not just another restaurant. I'm the local restaurant and this is who I am. This is where I'm from. And um, start setting yourself apart from the other competitors that sometimes, you know, a big brand can't do that, right? Um, mm -hmm. So that's that's just a great way. And, and we're also more mobile. We're more agile. We can make decisions faster and adapt in these uh, uh, types of circumstances. So just uh, keep that in mind, right? We, we're much more responsive. We can do more. We can reach more. And, um, and at the end of this, what we all want is to come out stronger, right? I agree. And I love that uh, last thought that you just shared with us. And I think that I'm going to leave it there because you say it all. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for your great ideas. Thank you for sharing um, all these amazing small businesses that are thinking out of the box and are staying uh, present to the people. Are They are thinking about how my offer can provide value to my clients and prospect. And that's the most important thing is think about what are you offering that can be a value for your clients and prospect on this time. We all know that everything needs to be sanitized. We all know that everything needs to be uh, clean. Uh, that's not a unique selling proposition and unique selling proposition is what we show you with the uh, baseball classes online and a new selling proposition is what we show you about the painting with me uh, that lauren was doing and unique selling proposition is what juan is doing with the houston vida that is connecting the small businesses to have more visibility and unique selling proposition is the mojito kid that was my favorite. yes that my favorite. so that's something we need to think what we are offering that we can upsell it but with empathy with value for the people that are out there that they truly need to be using this because it's unique yeah. so thank you so much Juan for for joining us and i promise i promise everyone that juan and i will be thinking about who else can we bring to these videos and this podcast to give you more content more value more great ideas refreshing thoughts uh to all of us as juan says remain strong and get out of this strong yeah, thank you for doing this, and I, I look forward to future future shows where we uh, we take the best of what we're seeing and we we make it available for other people, uh, so that then they can go do it for their business. Thank you. This is be present. Bye. Thank you for tuning us at be present. Please let us know how we did with a thumbs up or five stars review. See you in the next.